Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Baku245 here bringing you a gameplay on Heart Hat using the P90 silence, no, red dot sight, never mind, sorry. Anyway, so, this is what I consider to be probably one of the best gameplays. Um, this commentary is actually gonna be not about any other topics, but about Call of Duty in general and gameplays. And what I think to be, would, what would be a perfect gameplay for me. So, I think this is one of my best gameplays because, um, well, by the way, I just want to uh, mention that I kind of start off slow in the beginning. Um, uh, what I mean by that is I, I totally suck shit in the beginning. Um, I die like 20 times, but it's okay because later I pick up a really nice kill feed and finish off with a really good KD. So, anyway, uh, so, the th reason I think this is one of my best gameplays is because I was playing objective, yet I got a really high KD. So, uh, you, you're going to see me in the video um, securing flags and uh, not just, you know, camping to get a kill streak. And my kill streaks here are, by the way, UAV, um, Predator Missile, and Tactical Helicopter. Not, nothing really big. But, yeah, I did manage to oh, look at that camp for a while. And, but I did manage to get a good gameplay, so, yeah. And, so, one of the things I want to talk about in this commentary is about how to play Call of Duty. So, obviously, people know how to play Call of Duty. You just get on your uh, PS3, you lock yourself up in your room, uh, you know, with a bag of chips and some other videos, if you know what I mean. And sit there the whole day playing, like, Hex Jaws. But not the point. The thing I want to talk about, there's two kinds of players. So there's people that rush and uh, camp, but you don't want to do either of that. You want to do a bit of both. Like, um, basically, if you're on a high kill streak, you don't want to r r run into uh, the enemies um, spawning. As you see here, I'm securing flags. Yay. Uh -huh. uh, teamwork for the win. Um, anyway, uh, so you don't really want to rush into the enemy spawn. Well, uh, when you're on, like about to get your AC on 30 or something, uh, you want to just like uh, go slowly, try to uh, slowly go around the map, and find people. But you don't want to camp either, because that first of all that gets uh, annoying. Uh, first of all, and second of all, um, people are gonna find you eventually, and you're gonna die. And by the way, I'm not camping here. I'm just calling you my predator missile. And that was a nice kill right there. And that was, I don't know, that was, I think, my best predator, yeah. Even though I got the quad. Anyway, so, and then there's other kind of players, which are objective players, and players that go for kill streaks. So, I was, I'm kind of trying to decide which one am I. Because uh, I think I feel fit kind of, oh, and I forgot to say there are, like, people that go for trick shots and sniping and montage and stuff. And I think I'm in the middle of three of them. Because... Uh, sometimes when I'm alone, I'm not gonna try to play uh, as much objective because there's no point when you're playing against a team, and even if you're freaking Axjaz or something, and you're playing against the clan, you're gonna lose uh, if you don't have any uh, team members because you can't get a good gameplay. Oh, uh, well, I mean, like, you could get a get good gameplay, but part of getting good gameplay is playing objective and not for. Oh, that was a fail, Predator Mercy Seven. And not because it's like, you have to play objective. I'm, I'm not saying that. Uh, you cannot play objective. That's actually what I, I do a lot of times. I just try to go for high kill streaks, ignore the objectives. But what I realized from years of Call of Duty is that you can't do good when you're not playing objective. I mean, uh, take, for example, Domination. Uh, if you have, let's say, uh, C and the enemy has A and B, you're not going to get a c good KD because they're going to be... Uh, trying to hold you down at C, not let you go in here, and yeah, it just trust me, it, it's not gonna be good. Uh, so you need to try to play objective, yet not too much. Uh, so let's say let your team members get the flags, but stay behind and protect them. Uh, make sure they get the flag. Um, so what? What I want to talk about this country is just like talk a bit about myself. Like, uh, let's say, what's m my favorite kill streak? And that will probably be the Reaper. 
because uh, that shit is just so fun to use. And come on, it has a red light coming out when you. Oh my god, I remember the uh, that was kind of really gay, but never mind. I remember the first time when it, I saw Reaper, I had no idea what it was, and for some reason my instincts told me to run to the red light, and obviously I got killed. But mm, I was, I just felt really, really stupid. And I have no idea what I'm doing. And by the way, I'm not camping here. I'm just waiting for him to come. Haha, <laughs> camp. Anyway. So, my, let's go on. My best gun is probably, from the SMGs, I would have to say is the P90. Um, Actually, it switches up for me a lot. Uh, First it was P9, um, PP90, then it's P90, then it's MP7. A lot of P's there. <laughs> but... Yeah, for now, I think it's uh, P90. I was just getting beast gameplays with it. Um, and from Assault Rifles, of course, there's the ACR. Uh, obviously, everyone likes the ACR. I, I, I didn't, haven't met a single person yet that doesn't like the ACR. And there are, like, I don't know, M4A1. It's, M4A1 is actually, uh, I do okay with it, but some... Sometimes I like really suck with it. Uh, I guess it just depends uh, what day is it or something. If I'm having a good day, I will probably go do good with it. And AK-47, of course, is good. I didn't use it too much though. So yeah, I like the MK-14. It's just fun. It, it's not automatic. It gives you kind of of a handicap, and it's. And I really feel proud of myself when I do go with the MK14, even though that gun is beast. Um, now my secondary weapon, my favorite secondary weapon, huh? That's our well, of course the FMG9s are good, but I only like the FMG9s akimbo. If it, uh, if we're not talking about akimbo guns, uh, oh, and I failed right there with it, actually. Uh, at least I got an assist. That's good. Um, so if we're not talking like him, but I think I would say the MP9. Yeah, that gun's beast, especially when I use sensor with it. Um, it becomes the like, oh, what is a gun in Modern Warfare 2? God, I forgot. Anyway, um, so yeah. Uh, uh, let's see what else. I don't know. I I really like to use pistols. If you see on my glasses, I have a lot of pistols because again, it's. it's it gives you kind of like a handicap and lets you train your trigger figure <laughs> and you're gonna need to use it in bed. The Dutch. That was my horrible sound effects. So uh, trying to be a drum. Um I know let's see how and of course everybody would wanna know what's my favorite sniper? God that sniping for me changes every day. I get a good gameplay with the Barrett, I'm gonna like the Barrett for the rest of the Prestige. But then, no, wait, I get a good gameplay with MSR and I'm gonna like the MSR. So, the thing how it went for me like this, the first, at first, I like the uh, uh, MSR. Uh, even, and I think the reason was because I didn't really have it back then, because I just started playing. Um, I think that's why I liked it so much. But then on my second prestige, I started liking the L18, and on my th um, like midway through the second prestige, I did really good with the Barrett. I I went like flawless and stuff with the Barrett. So I started liking, and then I was ba went back to them. Sorry, oh, um, by the way, I was shooting the thing right there because I thought it was uh, the enemies. I know fail. Well, that's what you get, I guess, for playing video games 20 hours straight. That your vision gets bad. <laughs> yeah, but I don't play video games for 20 hours straight. I locked up in my room with uh, slaves giving you food. And nah, I'm, I'm kidding. Anyway, kind of, uh, kind of getting off topic here. Um, so, of course, there's the AS50. A lot of people like it, but for me, it's like I don't know. Sometimes it's good, but um, I don't. It's like hot and cold for me. I could do great with it, uh, or I can uh, uh, suck some really bad dick with it. So yeah. Um, uh, what else I, I wanted to cover? I, don't know, I just wanted to cover a lot of things that have to do with Call of Duty. 
It's got me trying, uh, trying to think of what I want to say as the uh, time is running out. And, okay, my favorite match set would be Domination, because I like Kill Confirm a lot, you get a lot of points, but it's just so distracting to get all those shiny thingies. It just, uh, I don't know. Uh, my favorite, yeah, so I think that would be my second favorite, though. I played 87 hours on Call of Duty, and I have uh, 47, I think, of them. Oh, and, and uh, almost got a triple killer. Uh, and fail. I didn't look at the game score. Anyway, so yeah, 47 of those hours are spent on. Um, what is it called? Uh, on domination. And yeah, I think I covered most of the things I want to talk about in this commentary. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, by the way, I don't know if you can really see the score, but it's, um, let me see, wait. It's 46 to 15, which I think is actually, it's not my best score, but I think the score is really good for an objective player, which I was doing this video. And, I, by the way, I try to really play objective when I'm playing Search and Destroy with my friends, because I really try not to do that, because I have friends that do a lot better than me in Search and Destroy, like, uh, Siri 80 and, and Slap Bones, especially Siri 80. God, you should see that guy play Switch and Destroy. He thinks before every move. You know what? I actually, maybe in one of my videos, I'll cover his gameplay and talk about some strategies and Switch and Destroy. But anyway, um, this was Walker 245. The time is running out, and I'm still talking, even though the actual gameplay is over. So I'm probably gonna upload some pics. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Do not rape koalas. What? Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't do that. What? Never said that. Um, so yeah, please like, comment, and rate the video, whatever you want to do, but make sure you do that, or else I'll rape uh, one innocent koala a day. And yeah, peace out, deuces. Deuces, 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 deuces. God, I'm trying to turn up my mic. Bye. Now, seriously, guys, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and see ya. Peace out. Deuces.